Hello, and welcome to Ramen Eats, episode 3. Today we are covering A1 Eats in North World Road, which is literally just a couple of minutes near my place. Uh, so, I didn't intend to record episode 3 today, but I thought, why the hell not? I did not feel like Tesco today. Um, the main reason I went out today was to drop off some packages to the post office. And, um, I was surprisingly craving some South Asian stuff. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I'm, I'm starving. Grease proof, yeah? Please. After unraveling that, uh... And realized the the damn grease from all of the the pastries and stuff I got. They just started dripping out of the bag, and uh, it, was, it was probably heat as well. But yeah, it wasn't great. But anyways, I got a bunch of stuff. So uh, let's get on to it. So we got a. I think this is lamb or chicken. I got one of each. But this is, I think this is lamb. This is a lamb kebab roll, I presume. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It's alright. Let me box that, dude. Um. I wasn't expecting much, but wow, it's got a kick to it! <laughs> mm, not bad. This is the chicken one. Not half bad. It's still a bit greasy, but the feeling is alright. I mean, you can tell it's not, you know, real chicken, but what do you expect for £1.50 per roll? Oh, there you go. Oh, no, there is actual chicken. Hmm. I think they put like a curry base on it or something, probably. Oh, I forgot to show the inside of the lamb one. That's what it looks like. It was a standard la lamb kebab inside a pastry. That's it. Chicken Bakora. Yeah, I'm not enjoying now. <laughs> okay. Chicken pakoras, as far as I'm aware, are supposed to be crispy. That was soggy as fuck. Uh, <laughs> that's all was reheated from yesterday. I get it. Everything was reheated from yesterday. They told me it wasn't freshly made today. Um, a bit let down by that, but... Uh, I just hope everything else isn't of this standard onwards. Chicken pakoras are supposed to have a little spice, not too much. It shouldn't distract you from the overall spices and other stuff you put into it. This one, it's not doing it for me. We're not done yet though. <laughs> Punjabi samosa. Basically, Shingada samosa.
again the dough is alright don't get me wrong the dough is alright but nothing compares to places like Umbrella no fucking way um, this is like 80p each for these these are a bit bigger and it has this filling inside with you know vegetables and you know mashed potato usual Shinkara style filling I'm not feeling this now this is probably one of the worst Shingara samosas I've ever had in my life. I almost forgot. I got a shammy kebab too. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm scared to buy into this. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Too soft. Way too soft. Oh dear. What have I done? <laughs> um, I knew this food wasn't going to be exactly like top quality. I mean, considering that everything together cost £7.60, I knew I was in for a very special treat. Um. So yeah, most of the items, like the samosas and the uh, lamb kebab rolls, the, the, the Punjabi style samosas, they're about 80p each. The lamb kebab roll and chicken kebab roll were 150 each. And the pakoras, the chicken pakoras, I got a portion of them, about 60, 80p each per piece. So... Let's say it's probably two, three pounds for the portion, most likely. The guy didn't tell me, <laughs> but um, yeah, seven pounds sixty. Yeah, an okay amount. Um, obviously, if you want more on top, then you have to pay extra. But for this random bundle I got, for the price, it's okay. It's it's nothing to brag home about. <laughs> um, yeah. Nothing much to say in terms of price. <laughs> um, I'll give them a 3.5. No, actually. I'll give them a 4. Yeah, I'll give them a 4. It's affordable for most people. Um, maybe some items should be cheaper. But overall, not bad in the price for cheapy food like this. So yeah, 4 out of 5 from me for price. Quality. 1. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the lowest rating I've given on this channel so far for quality. Yeah, 1. Uh, it deserves it. Everything lacked actual flavour. Um, I understand it's cheap food. It's not meant to be, you know, like restaurant quality. It's essentially street food. Um, first of all, the chicken pakoras, like I mentioned earlier, whilst I was eating it, they weren't crispy at all. They were really soggy. The chicken itself was cooked, but I mainly tasted the spice. The lamb kebab rolls and chicken kebab rolls, whilst the flavoring was okay. I would have liked a little more crisp. Obviously everything was nuked in the microwave so that was not possible. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have expected much. But still, yeah, I, I did not enjoy those. Um, the shami kebab. Yeah, that was the worst item. <laughs> Uh, good thing I just ha they just had one, thankfully. I asked for two initially, but the guy was like, nah, we only have one in stock. 
I'm like, okay, just give me the one then. That was also like 60 to 80p. Most of the items were 60 to 80p actually. Uh, but yeah, the shabby kebab was too soft. There was zero effort put into it. I mean, you can tell that they just put some shit together and just called it a shami kebab. It was probably the most poor excuse of uh, a food item I've ever seen in a little while. Uh, cleanliness. Um, well, the shop, it was it's literally a corner shop, so it was half food shop, half grocery shopping, you know, for like spices and um, other herbs and whatnot, you know, for cooking. You know, a typical box standard South Asian shop. Um, the guy serving me, um, he was wearing gloves and stuff, so that was good. Um, and they had bags ready for people to, you know, take and whatnot, so it was cool. They, they at least did that okay. Mm, but the overall state of the shop, uh, it was pretty, you know, meh. Uh, so for cleanliness, I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5. Um, solely because of the state of the shop, it looks kind of old. Um, and um, obviously it's a bit off-putting for some customers. It wasn't very busy. I was the only guy who was ordering food at the front of the counter. So that definitely says something. Customer service. Um, the guy was friendly. Um... He was willing to, you know, take out everything I wanted. I asked for this and this and this, and he's like, okay, brother, I'll sort you out, don't worry. Um, he, was, he was really nice. And when I asked him, is the food fresh, he was being honest and said, yeah, no, it's not. It, it was All of it was made yesterday. I'm like, okay, I'll still take some stuff, no problem. Um, obviously, it seems like I was probably the first customer of the day. So maybe that's why he was being extra nice, I don't know. It's very possible he was. <laughs> and obviously because I'm Bangladeshi myself, he showed a bit more respect to me, I guess. Um, so yeah, that, that was that was all right. So for customer service, I'm gonna have to give them five out of five, simply because the guy knew I was Bengali and um, he was trying his best, honestly. He was, he was genuinely trying his best to make the food seemed, you know, decent when I knew it wasn't, obviously. But I wanted to give it a go anyways. So, overall score of A1 Foods in North World Road. Ah, this is, is going to be really hard. Two out of five. No, no, even, even worse. 1.5 out of five. Yeah, I... Whilst the customer service is pretty decent and the cleanliness is okay uh, and the pricing was okay, um, the food itself really let this place down today. Um, I knew what I was getting myself into when ordering today and to be fair, you shouldn't expect much from a place like this. Um, if you don't mind cheapy food like this, then you're more than welcome to go here, but on a regular basis, I don't recommend going to this place often. Um, there are much better places you can get South Asian food. I personally recommend Umbala in Whitechapel or any other branches that might be near you. Uh, their food is always fresh, ready, on the day. They are constantly making food. Um, this place, obviously, they seem to have their food ready from yesterday uh, and I I highly doubt they ever get out fresh um, judging by how the guy was speaking to me um, so yeah I do not recommend this place uh, this is definitely the worst reviewed place I've talked about on the channel so far and um, hopefully I don't have an experience like this again for a while um, you're probably thinking, yeah, you should have expected this place to be shit. Yeah, I probably should have, but I wanted to have a little bit of hope that it was going to be a little special, but it wasn't. 
So yeah, 1.5 out of 5 for A1 Fruits. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Um, yeah. Obviously I'll be making these videos whenever, uh, so don't expect them coming out weekly. Uh, because it is costly as well. Getting stuff like this, even the cheap stuff like this is costly. It's coming out of, you know, my own wallet. Uh, let's be honest here. So, uh, yeah. That was episode 3. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um... Hopefully you don't have a disappointing experience with this place yourself. Please do not order from this place, I'm begging you. <laughs> um, anyways. Take care, everyone, uh, and uh, I'll see you for future reviews. Peace. Uh, okay. I never thought I'd be doing this, but uh, I need to make a last-minute change to what I scored this place. Um, okay. Uh, after further evaluation, I noticed that in the lamb kebab roll, there was a hair inside a pastry. So cleanliness has now been dropped down to one out of five. Overall score, one out of five. That was abysmal. Please, please do not order from this place. I genuinely felt sick when I saw the hair in the pastry and I won't be ordering from these guys again. Furthermore, the customer service I initially gave full stars, but now I realize that the guy was a little bit of an ass towards the end by shoving everything into the bag, even when, even though I specifically told him not to do that. So that's now three out of five. Yeah, uh, not happy, not happy at all. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.